Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the new American state. And last time, I forgot to go ahead and justify on these very small, various nations. And we just got to decide who we're going to take out one at a time. So, um, this is not where we left off last time because I accidentally let the game run in the background at a ex very extreme slow speed, like level 1 speed. So, I forgot to change the speed or pause it, so... Yeah, we're a little bit ahead of time. Um, we're doing the greatest power in the wastes, though. And I did the same thing with New Hammond. That I don't even have um, a war goal or justification on them. So instead, we're going to go ahead and take out the, the Great Cons down here. I think that would be for the best since we already have an available war goal. So I'll let our guys move down there. We could also go to war with Painted Men, which would be interesting. But we can also go to war with the Iron Alliance, which actually I think we'll do following that up. Because we want to get across to the East Coast as soon as possible. Because that would be a lot more fun. Because we just got, we got people to take out here. But I want to see how much I struggle with the East Coast, especially the Institute. Where I will definitely need a lot of infantry to take these guys out. Because they have not a lot of manpower, but they have a lot of divisions. The Buffalo Raiders have no manpower and almost no divisions. Ada City, hmm, USSR... Some manpower, some divisions. Aboriginal killers. Huh. New Huron cannibals. The cannibals of the Midwest. Desert men. Desert man. Wild swamp peoples. Uh, yeah, it looks like the East Coast is mostly just a giant flippin' mess. Brotherhood of Steel Outcast. Capital Brotherhood. Oh. Maybe they don't like each other. Uh, what's this? Shepherd's Army. Super mutants up here. So yeah, the East Coast is lost. And we saw the Chinese... That's an actual PRC's flag. Nice. Captain Chi how, how? Well, that's not nice, but that's not good. But, um, yeah. The East Coast is pretty much lost. So we got to bring American justice to the East Coast. And as you can tell, we have a crap ton of political power. So, let's go ahead and justify or get these things rolling here. We need to take out the Mo Mojave chapters. There's just a lot we could do. We could scavenge for old world tech. Let's make sure we get 80% uh, success rate. I was going to do this as well, but I keep getting told that I can't connect stuff to the grid. Because I have negative 375 electricity. Holy crapperino. And I did spend a lot of my manpower on, um... What was it? Creating air wings. I needed more air wings. And we have no electricity. So... I don't mind doing this a little bit for now. Let's give me as much electricity as humanly possible. That would be very, very lovely. Do do do. Ah, boulder. Level one. One electricity isn't great, but this should definitely help us out quite a bit. No wonder I can't connect up to grid, and that's all right. So we're justifying on Bellingham, which will get us to Camlo, which we can go to war with imme immediately, and actually connect us to the rest of our Alaskan uh, territories. Then we can go to war with New Victoria. The Haida Confederation, take out Whistler, and the Pacific Northwest will be done until we get down to Murtaugh, Ayers. But the Mormon Alliance on the Pacific is getting kind of large. They're very large, which is a little disturbing. But what I'm going to do with New Vegas is I'm going to puppet them and then integrate them into our country. I think that would be for the best. Don't have to waste time going to war with them if we can go to war with other people. And that's a lot more fun going to war with other people. Oh, actually, we might need some infrastructure right here. Um, go ahead and do that. Did I miss some of this area? Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go to war with them. They're not allied with anybody, I think. They have war goals against High Chapel. Sorrows. So Sorrows. Cool. <clears throat> and go ahead and turn, take them out. So after this war with the Great Cons, we're going to go to the war with the Iron Alliance and begin thinking about invading the Cannibals. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, yes. Beautiful. Nice. Go and just let time go on, as this is another episode where we're just going to keep moving forward and taking out more enemies. I did not know the Ripe World Territories have gone to war with Delta. Huh. Looks like Ripe World Territories is doing pretty darn well. They definitely have less divisions, though. Well, maybe they're losing, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe th these guys are losing. Yeah, the Delta's winning. And we just won our own war. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Power grids. Well, I we can't really do anything about that. Ripe roll. Tar walkers. 
Land of Sorrows. Eh, we could probably go to war with Sorrows. Navajo Nation. Do we already have Navajo Nation? We already have Navajo Nation. Ripe World Territories, yes. We already have most of these, so not too concerned about that. Um, I mean, if we're going to war with the Sorrows anyways... Oh, we can already go to war with them. They're allied to the Mormons, which is going to take one heck of a war to get rid of all of these guys. So let's not go to war with them yet. We'll go to war with the Iron Alliance. And then probably the Painted Men. That'd probably be for the best. Nice. Negative 525 electricity. That's not very good. I could go with the closed economy, but obviously we can't do that. We got 12 more infantry divisions, which I'm going to split in half. Come over here. Give me, uh, you guys. And we're going to need another army general. Commodus Archer. Which I will send these guys maybe to over here. To the Ruby Valley Refugees as I drink some coffee. Very nice, very good. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing alright myself. Um, saw an old friend today, or by the time you guys are watching this, which was really cool because I haven't seen him since... I don't know, maybe a little bit after high school. Uh, let's see, justify preemptive attack. That'd be nice, but that, that only will work for future justifications. Like if I did it, like, if I click that decision now, click the justify preemptive attack, that won't help me against my war justification goal against... Bellingham, which is already halfway done, so it doesn't really matter. But Iron Alliance, just gotta wait for our fellows to get up here. The sweet, sweet, awesome power armor. 20 combat width, using plasma weaponry, some common energy weaponry, power weaponry from Kaisar, and then the best power armor in the game. Negotiate a group rate. Exchange robotic technology. Oh, and they get Tesla wep They get Tesla weaponry? Did we discover Tesla stuff? We have plasma, so... We're going to exchange with New Vegas. Tesla weaponry. Even though we don't have Tesla weaponry. Alright. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with it. That's fine with me. Yuinta declared one high chapels. Oh, Yuinta is right here. Right here. Oh, and we are running out of things to actually build. Um, when in doubt, build more civilian factories. Because... That won't hurt us in the long run, right? Yeah, just build a lot of civilian factories. I don't really think I'm going to need a lot of forts. I could be wrong about that. I really don't need to build any more naval dockyards because we have too much. I have almost, I have over 900 factories. I think we'll be okay. Cool. Uh, maybe I could build some stuff over here. Uh, where is... Oh, I'm not even bordering these guys. Maybe against the Mormons, perhaps? Maybe build some forts here, maybe, perhaps? I don't know. Just build it all like this, because why not? We got a lot of factories. It won't matter. I will build infrastructure in the future, but I just want to get through my entire focus tree and then do uh, things that bolster our legitimacy. Cool. That should keep them busy for a while. Uh, let's make sure we actually have airports around here. Air bases, I mean. Uh, radar would be good as well. There you go. Up here in the north, we could probably use some radar. Probably on this side, which I'm not even going to defend. Up here, make sure we can get to the... Or see what the Haida Confederation is up to over here as well. Air bases, when we go to war with both island nations. That would be good. That would be smart to do. Maybe over here as well. Over here. Over here. Just to make sure we got enough air bases to cover all of the country. Definitely one right here as well. Mm, twin mothers. Let time speed up a little bit more. Do that there. Do that there. And one over here. Cool. We should have more than enough air bases to take out everybody. Hmm. Coffee is great. All right. Our soldiers all have arrived up north. There's not a lot of divisions per tile. But the enemies don't have that either. So. Oh, they're actually connected down here. Hmm. We should be able to push in fast enough that that really won't matter too much. Yeah, we should be okay. 
They attack us, we attack them. They're trying to invade us. And I'm going to need you to come down here, please. Thank you very much. Should be able to push into them before they do any real damage. Cool. Like, guys, can you go ahead and do a great job in getting to the junction? We got some battlefield support. So we're done with that. More naval stuff? Sure. Lamar. Exchange robotic technology. Recognize Vegas autonomy. We guarantee them because we're going to puppet them and then eventually annex them. Goals in life. Casualty list. 3,000 versus 7. I love Power Armor. And these guys, we should be able to go to war with these guys very soon as well. Yeah, we're probably going to lose some divisions or lose something up here, but whatever. Not really concerned about it since we can spare some of these guys as well. Besides, these ground forces on the southern border won't be able to stand up against all of my divisions. There's no way they'll be able to. No way. Oh, look at the Iron Alliance. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Ooh, the river people declared war on the New York branch of the Enclave. It'll be interesting to see when we when I actually get up to New York, whether the Enclave will like me or not. Because right now, they don't really care for me too much. They're led by Colonel John Neiman. So, we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. And there goes the Iron Alliance. Thank you very much for playing. You are toast. Very nice. Ah, love me some coffee. See, we've got some divisions over here, divisions over here. I'm going to need my infantry for a lot of this. Hmm, anyone else we could take out right now? Painted men, some divisions should be sent down here, while the rest of the divisions can be sent up north. Actually, that's probably a good idea. Let's take out the painted men first. So give me one, two, three, four. Yeah, I didn't miss anything yet. Two, three, four. So we got that area up there. We got another area right here. There's really not a lot of different ways for us to strike into uh, the painted men from our current standing, and that's okay. Three. Go ahead and throw in a few more divisions over here. And we got four more, which I'm going to add two more over here, and two more into the north. Cool. We should be ready for those guys. Shouldn't be a problem, but whatever. And I'm going to go over with Bellingham next. Do that. That'd be great. Ooh, supplies. Do that. And you probably don't need that, but whatever. Right now we have negative 687 electricity, which really kind of sucks, but we don't need it for too much except infantry equipment. Um, there you go, we can make two... Oh, this was the extra infantry equipment. We're making four infantry equipment a day, that's fine. Let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. The north will get invaded a little bit, but no worries. Very nice, not bad. We won't be able to wear, win everywhere immediately, but, you know, that's alright. Go ahead and take Bellingham. And the war as soon as possible. No problems. No worries. No worries. The militia held strong. We took Bellingham. More power armor divisions, please. Thank you very much. Painted men. Yamp we'll get to Yampa. We'll take out the cannibals of the Midwest eventually. That'll be great. Actually, since we're already up here, we might want to go to war with... Whistler fairly quickly. Yeah. Let's go ahead and justify on them anyways. Oop, I should have taken that decision though. The justify preemptive attack. Can we do anything else? Not really. Lasaros. Cannibals. Ooh, we can go to war with cannibals of the Midwest. That's good. Recognize Vegas autonomy. And puppet them. The house always wins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boost civilian economy. Sponsor a railway. Sure, why not? Sure, sure, sure. Nah, it's going to be close capitulation. They haven't actually taken too much territory from me, which is uh, a little surprising, I suppose. Let them go this way. These guys are pretty much done and over with. Love it. More 
infantry divisions going through over here. Discovery of old world tech, very nice. Get faster factory construction speed. They lost a thingamabob. Bellingham is ours. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, you guys are down here. That's fine with me. Uh, that's actually the one of the only few areas that we can actually invade. Oops, not that. Do that. Definitely want to go to war with Ruby Valley Refuge. Which we don't have anything against yet. Mm, yeah, we can't go to war with them yet. But we're definitely going to go to war with Camlo. Um, do this. Do that. Give me half of you guys. Give me half of, half of that, actually. Come over here. Hang out over here. Camlo, and we have some divisions up north that need to be sent up here. Nice. And we'll go to war with Camlo, and then we'll surround Whistler and take him out as well. That'd be great. That would be phenomenal. And I just got a message from my notifications from my YouTube account. And unfortunately, I cannot reply to that until this episode. So, to Hotel Pellegrima. Grima. I'm sorry, I can't reply to your comments immediately. So, arm tug. Let's do that. But yeah, by the time we get to the next video, the next campaign, I should be able to interact with you guys quite a bit more. Should be able to. Anyways, um, painted men, are we ready? Are we ready to go to war with some sort of painted barbarian men? Looks like they might actually try to squash us early on, but let's see what happens. They're not allied with anyone, and we want to go to war as fast as possible. They're attacking us first. Good. Let them wear themselves out. Barbarian hordes, you know. Those of ill stock. 91,000 manpower. Pretty good, pretty good. Painted men. Anything else here? Nope. Very nice. Every time we take more territory, I keep losing more and more electricity, which kind of sucks. Oh well. It's not like we really need it too much, so. Camlo, are you guys ready to go? It looks like you pretty much are ready to go. You're not allied with anybody. Oh, before we go to... We're not ready to go to war yet. Our soldiers are still trying to make it up here. I mean, I'm not too concerned about building infrastructure right now. I don't mind doing it just because I want to save a lot of territory for us to use the legitimacy, but there are a crap ton of tiles. So, the house always wins. Mr. House surveys the enclave from my monitor. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. The delegation applauds, and soon, a staff is set up to serve the vice president. But why does it feel like he got the better end of the deal? We got more political power. We get less consumer goods, and New Vegas will be known as Vegas, baby. Ruby Hill. My friend, you are under me. They dislike Kaiser's Legion, and you know what I'm going to do to you? I'm just going to go ahead and build some stuff in your land. So then when we come over, and we have a party, we have a good time, everyone gets really intoxicated, you won't even know what even hit you. Oh, you already filled that stuff up. That's fine. Oh, you already have maxed out air bases. You already have maxed out empty air. It's like you have nothing else to build. Forts? Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. We have New Vegas under us. We can't do either of this. We need 50% legitimacy to do all this stuff. Oh my gosh, I need this really badly. So, what you're telling me is that I need 50% legitimacy. And I annex the Desert Rangers, which doesn't even exist. Because then this will bypass, and then we can get to faster just by war goal sense. I forgot about this. Mm. Alright, well, I guess we're going to build a lot of infrastructure this episode, guys. Uh, is there anywhere I can get more electricity? Open road. Starlight Express. More infrastructure is nice. But I want to build it myself. There's nothing really over here I can do. We're already done with most of the focus tree, actually. Which is really cool. Really, really cool. But, if we must build infrastructure... We might as well go with construction engineering. Hmm. And there goes the coffee. 
More infrastructure, please. We're gonna go ham on the infrastructure now. Hmm, where is that button? Patriotic movies, war bonds. That actually might be good. We're gonna rebuild infrastructure for 90 days, more infrastructure construction speed, and just build a crap ton of infrastructure. And make sure we actually have the appropriate individual under Christopher Wright. Cool. So we're gonna build a lot of infrastructure right now. 30% bonus. Let's do it. And we're gonna get crazy. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. Just go ahead and build it, build as much as you can. I have so many factories that we should be able to, to at least get, I hope, 30% legitimacy. Because I'm going to be building so many of these things as we're actually currently still in a war. Now, movement in California will be the fastest in the waste. Oh, actually, I see Hopeville. Actually, what I should really do is connect different places together. So let's do this. Uh, don't really need that, but whatever. This is already pretty good. We can connect this to this to this. Then they can come to over here, come to North Phoenix, move our way up north as well, around to Apache, Zuni, that area, this place. Move our way up, 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 up. Is that even oh, God dang, that's not even connected. Uh, go down around, come up through here, do that tile, connect yourself up to here, Rocky Ford. Oops. Uh, what is this? Is Kadoa? Do that. Come back this way. Connect up here so we can get up to this area. That would be good. So this way we connected to the Midwest area. Uh, if we need to go down south, which we will need to do, we can come down this way as well. Good. Build this way as well. Because there's states down here we got to take out. Um, but da -dum, but -dum. Ah, we, we will need this, I guess, as well. We're going to need this eventually. So, California's looking pretty good. we got to get into Nevada some more. Connect these areas together. That's good. we got infantry down here, so we might as well do this already. Good. We're connected over here. we got to connect ourselves over here to here. I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to build all this immediately. But I, God knows I'm going to try. And we got to connect ourselves to the north a little bit better than this. That to that. To this. To this. Which is not connected. Which is connected over here. To Vault 6. Up north. Nice. That one's already done. Cool. Cool. Up here. Come up here. Invest a lot into here. So at least this way... I know we don't need these territories to be really done, but whatever. We have at least some sort of system of potential infrastructure that we can build. Now, it doesn't look great, but it's a start. Um, is there, if there's anywhere else we really need to build into... Cool, electricity. Awesome. Let's see what happens. The first one will be done by November 30th. So that's about 18 days. That's not bad. I need some water in my mouth. Mmm. Water is beautiful. Tasty, but not, not really, because it has no taste. Sponsor a railway. Yeah, there's nothing that'll help me improve. Actually, we might want to do war bonds so we can get even more consumer goods factories. Yeah, let's do that for now. Look at all the infrastructure we got to be building. Oh my goodness. Boost civilian. Da, da, da. We get more stability, which we really don't need. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this so we get four more civilian factories right now. I want to use as many as I possibly can at one time. Warn of the Red Menace, deal with Van Graaffs. Yep, that's pretty much all we can do to help boost um, the speed of which we do this. And we're just kind of waiting for the Pain of Men to continue to pummel themselves into the ground. Up here, we are doing okay, it looks like. Go to war with these guys, they'll probably attack us maybe somewhere. If not... Infantry will go up north. Down south, it's a little bit more difficult to attack just because we might have to attack over a river. There's a ton of mountains over here. Uh, 
But go ahead and try anyways. If these guys are finding success, you guys might as well. I'm not too concerned about manpower anymore. I mean, it's not like I shouldn't be concerned at all, but they have some manpower. We've got 90,000. That should last us for the end rest of the game. Could be wrong, but it might not be. Nice. Yampa, cannibals. Yeah, I definitely have to go to war with, war with every single one of those guys. Power grid. Can't really do anything about that. Anything about consumer goods? Ooh, effects when removed. More legitimacy. Um, don't really have very much else to do with my political power. So, might as well. Promote our agenda. Propaganda broadcasts. Well, don't really need too much more propaganda broadcasts. I mean, we don't have majority support, but that's okay. We're doing well. We're doing very, very well, for the most part. They've lost 9,000, almost 10,000. We've lost about 1,000. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, how's this looking over here near the Painted Men? Looks like they're slowly trying to recover their divisions as they continue to try to pummel us. Kirby Terrell is doing a great job leading the men in the south as the north is just kind of like hanging out, maybe having a smoke. I don't think you can smoke though in your um, power armor, but whatever. Never know. Never know. We've lost over 1,000. Camelot's lost over 10,000. Arm Tug. Sailing ships. Get rid of the sailing ships and Arm Tug 1. Sailing ships. Oh. That's, that's already out of date, but whatever. Etna. Cool. Um, naval stuff. Even more ships. I love it. And actually, both of these can be split further into half. Thank you. And thank you. Give me one. Throw you under there. Convoy rating as well. So we got an extra backup here. Can you make it down here? You can make it down here. Nice. I didn't know that. So also, guys, I didn't say this earlier, but we do not have um, the, the uh, most recent update. Because there was an update on September 1st, but I don't have it. Um, like I said before, my game save is still basically corrupted to the point where I can't save. So I'm still operating on the, la the last patch. So there's no Mexican focus tree or anything like that. Um, next time when we play Old War Blues, I will definitely have this in here. It'll be a lot of fun. So we'll have a great time with that. But just for this campaign, if you haven't already caught on, I don't have that with me. So sorry if you were expecting that, but I don't. I just, I just don't have it with me at the current moment. Cool. Ruby Valley Refuge. How much have we built already? I can't tell. We have until January 23rd. Happy 2287, though, guys. Well, ho hopefully having a good year. Um, how long will it take to justify? 200 days. That's a bit too much for me. Do this. It's still only 135 days. Wow. That's not much better. Shock tactics. Great. Advanced weaponry so we can get some more piercing. That would be good eventually. We already did that stuff. Let's get some more less supply use. Sterile medical equipment. Cool. Camlo. They're kind of like... They're very kind of difficult to take out. Just because they're so far away. Uh, you guys come up here. As a painted men. Well. They're kind of painted. Kind of crazy. Kind of nuts. To be honest with you. And I need some more infrastructure in Salida. But luckily they can't pierce me. I can... Uh, I guess I can technically not pierce them. Since they don't really wear armor. Which is fine with me. We're going to probably lose about 2,000 men in total in these wars. Oh, New Vegas is with us. They have up to 41 divisions. Nice. Oh my gosh, I have an, another entire army here. Cool. Great. Throw you over here. We have another set, which I will go ahead and set next to the raiders down here. Another general. We don't have enough political power for a while. Which is fine. West Colorado. Supplies. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is Colorado? Oh, I never re really remember where Colorado was. I mean, I don't live anywhere near Colorado. I've never been to Colorado. I would love to go to Colorado someday, though. It's a very western state. Very western. Where is Salida? Or something like that. Antioch. There you are. Alvin Bleak. Alvin 
Oh, it's for the Whistler people. Okay, so we should be able to capitulate these guys before too much longer. Scavenge Old War Factories. Nice, even more power armor. Yeah, we're going to show up on the East Coast with just nothing but power armor and teach the East Coast super mutants and ghouls and people like that. There's no messing with the Enclave. How much longer do we have to go to war with the Whistler people? Um, April 7th. Monero returns. Orion Monero, Moreno, as a soldier that used to serve in the Enclave until the destruction of Navarro. Like many others, he fled south into the NCR. A loyal soldier has never given up on the Enclave's view of a restored America. When rumors of the Enclave's return reached him, Orion, Orion packed his bags to rejoin the Lost Comrades in arms. We get available as high command, more division recovery, and daily intellectual support. And my gosh, look at that legitimacy, baby! Smokerinos. You know, I wanted at least 30%. We're up to 89% as I'm continuing to build even more infrastructure. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Almost as beautiful as me. Awesome. Arm tug. Nice. Arm tug mark one. Come to Etna, which I will probably never even use you. Um, you guys, please keep moving. Thank you. Yeah, let you guys go ahead and get ready to go with that. You guys might need a little bit more satisfaction around here. Or I could use more satisfaction down here, up here, technically. Go ahead and just keep crushing them. Push, 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 push. Take them out. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the time. How did we get to this point where I didn't even recognize that we are out of time? This is not cool. I want more time to play. Go ahead and do that area up here too, because we will have to navally invade. Painted Man, we haven't made any advances in Painted Man just because I'm trying to grind down their manpower and them just killing themselves on my line, which I don't know if I can still say that. They're on scraping the barrel, wow. It's just kind of insane to think about. As soon as he comes, he leaves, and he ruins my legitimacy. Our recent policies have left Orion Moreno conflicted, doubting whether the Enclave he remembered from his youth ever even existed. The Enclave just died. After much doubt, Moreno left a government and country. His current location is unknown. And, oh, god dang it, Dr. Henry. Dr. Henry is an ex-Enclave medical scientist. He used to work with the Enclave Cybergenetic Research Program at the Poseidon Oil Rig and at various other Enclave installations. Later, he deserted the Enclave due to a conflict with another scientist. When he received word of the revival of the Enclave, he was skeptical at first. But once news spread of our efforts to become a worthy American government, he has left his clinic in order to rejoin the Enclave and get one more grand accomplishment done. He's probably going to leave anyway. Nice. Camlo's done. Cool. Good job, guys. You all, though, get ready for one heck... Oh, crap. You're actually down here. No, don't do that. God dang it. This is so small. So these three divisions, they should be okay. So, let's start them up here. Uno. Doce. Oh, you actually probably need a line like this as well. And trece. Uno, dos, trace. 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 Um, yeah, y'all come over here. Y'all do that. Two, three, four, five, six. Trace. Why would I say trace? Obviously, I never took Spanish in high school. Uno, dos, trace, cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho, nueve. That's something else. Cool. Um, that's pretty much it for the end of this episode. We have until April 7th. We're going to let our guys get organized, take out Whistler. That'll be fun. Um, do we have justification for Ruby Valley Refuge yet? Not yet. Uh, soon though. Very soon. And we are still at war with the Painted Man. So with that, my guys, thank you very much for watching. We have taken out the Iron Alliance. We have reached the cannibals of the Midwest. We are taking out the Pacific Northwest. And next time we will invade these small little islands. And maybe end up in a war with the Mormons. We'll, we'll see until then. So with that, my guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a glorious, glorious day.